All right, guys, this is Hunter with Red Hell Outdoorsman. Uh, just want to do a quick knife review real quick. Um, just want to show off something I just got in the mail today. Uh, this is just a few of my knives that I have. I've got, I don't even know how many I have, but just want to show off a couple of them. Um, this one right here, that is the Pathfinder version of the Habilis Survival Knife. You can see right there that it's got the bowl um, etched in to the handle so that you can use it as a bow drill socket. It's also got the uh, rivets in the handle so that you can use it to tie the knife, you know, use it as a spear, tie it onto a pole, um, do whatever you might need to do, but that's a really neat feature. Uh, the good thick blade, got a real hard 90 degree edge spine. This is the if you want to throw sparks off of a, a ferrocium rod, this is the knife to do it with. This is probably the most versatile, my favorite uh, belt knife that I have currently. But uh, that may change with the one I'm going to show you here at the end. Um, this little neck knife that I bought, I bought this up in Birmingham, uh, Marks Outdoors. A guy, last name's Hatchet, that makes this knife. Uh, it's a neck knife because you can obviously wear it around your neck just like a necklace, um, which is really neat. I've never worn a knife like that before, but uh, it actually is pretty handy. Uh, good Kydex sheath. The knife, you know, snaps in there good and hard. That's not falling out no matter what you do. Uh, there is one chief concern, which you'll it'll be really obvious here in just a second, is the uh, rust. This blade rusts really easy. Uh, I've got some ballastol I'm about to use to clean it off with, but every time I use it, if it gets wet at all, it doesn't matter how much time I spend, you know, drying it off or whatnot. I probably just, if I throw some oil on it immediately, it probably would take care of the problem, but usually I just, you know, wipe it off my pants or, you know, whatever and keep rocking. But, you know, I use my stuff. I don't just let it sit. If it was going to sit up on a shelf, you know, I'd be more worried about it, but I tell you what though, it's got a nice blade to it. Not a, not a problem with the blade at all. Good, real light knife. You can see about how big it is there. But that's a good knife to have. Um, this tomahawk here, yeah, it's pretty much a novelty item, obviously, but it would get the job done. This is not going to be a chopping hawk. You know, you're not going to chop down trees with this. You're not going to throw it. I mean, I guess you could, but I've never thrown it. Um, it's made with real sinew. Um, this is a, this thing is made on an anvil. Made by Cold Creek, uh, I can't remember if it's Cold or Cold Creek Forge in Michigan, I think, but I ordered it on eBay. It's awesome. I just had to have one. I saw it and I was like, man, I've got to have something like that. I figure I'll get my best use out of it when uh, the economy crashes and we're sent back to the, you know, living like they did in the 1700s, like we're all Indians again, which is fine with me. You know, I'll probably have to send it about that deep into some commie skull one day, you know, but that'll be the only time I have to, at least with him. The only issue with this tomahawk is down where you grip it at it's it's real slick and i wanted to take my dremel tool and just etch out some grooves in here and come back with my burner and just burn them black to make it look nicer uh just to give it a little more grip when you start swinging this thing you know and i i mean i've messed around i've, I've buried it you know about about you know that deep into an oak tree before pine tree and you know in fact this mark right here is because I stabbed it into some kind of tree just messing around one day um, let's see of course every single day I've got a Leatherman tool on my side strap uh, clipped in my pocket this thing I forget the exact name of it the sidekick. I think it's got 17 different tools. Uh, it's got your knife right there. Of course, it's got your pliers that you uh, try and do this one-handed. But anyway, everybody knows how Leatherman works. But you know that is that thing's the ticket right there. You got to have something like that if you're doing any kind of work. But 
this one here, I just got it in the mail today. Um, man, just, just look at that. That's a copperhead snakeskin sheath. That's just high quality stuff. High quality leather. Good, thick, hard. That, that thing will last. I mean, I'll be able to give it to my grandkids or grandkids. Nice belt loop right here. Good and stiff. Just nice. It just feels good in your hand. Um, I really like how this is all one piece and this piece comes up and covers the handle. Um, I hate to have a really nice looking knife and the handle get beat up, you know, just from wearing it on your belt. But I like how this is protected. But let me unsnap this real quick and pull this thing out of here. This is a really nice knife. It's a whole custom knife. That's H U L L Custom Knives. You can check out his Facebook page. They're out of Tennessee. Everything he does is handmade. You can see his name right there. Hull. Oh. Man, just look at that Damascus blade. That is pretty. Now that is a quilted maple handle. And that is that's just beautiful right there. Now that tomahawk handle is a curly maple. Same same wood, just a different pattern. The curly and the, the knife is the quilted. This is the trapper version uh, of the whole custom knife custom knife line. I mean they've got he's got several different other uh, models. You know, he's got a, he's got skinners, he's got survival type knives, he's got some, you know, uh, bowie knives, just, you know, any kind of knife you really would want, but I just really liked this one. I like, you know, I, I don't like a knife to be huge. This, this Pathfinder knife here is probably, uh, as big a knife as I would ever want to have. Uh, but I plan on using this knife right here to skin a lot of animals. I know it's a real pretty knife, but I'm going to use it. I don't buy things just to sit and look at, but I tell you what, I have a feeling that even after heavy use, this thing is going to look just as good as it does now. It's got a nice edge on it, too. I could probably work on a little bit, but it's a nice sharp edge. But man, this copperhead sheath right here, it may make the whole package. Man, that thing looks good. It's going to be hard for me not to lie to people because I know everybody's going to be asking where I got this thing. It's going to be hard for me not to lie and tell them that I made it myself, but they'll know better. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed looking at my, my small percentage of my blade collection. Um, I might put some more up at some point, but... Uh, Anyway, y'all have a good day, good rest of the week, and go outside.